it is done. It is done. First day is done. I'm so scared of the rest of the days. <laughs> How do you feel? Excited. They got snacks. They got snacks. They got candy for me. How are you feeling? Very excited. Really? Yeah. Why? Today we had the checkup to tell us if CC can start the medicines to then lead to egg retrieval. Right? <laughs> right? You call my name. Coming. <laughs> this is exciting. Very exciting. Cece doesn't have any pants on. No, look. I want my socks to stay on. <laughs> I wanted just to see your socks. I need my socks to stay on. Honestly, this is like, what is the word I'm thinking of? Invasive. No, not even just invasive, like... It feels invasive to me. You know, look, Cece. I think you have to do the injection in this, like, this top part. <laughs> Yeah, read up on it, baby. Make sure you have not hit a blood vessel. <gasps> uh -uh. You know what? Hitting them all the blood vessels. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a good demonstration, but what if your partner's butt doesn't look like that? Come here, baby. Stop. <laughs> here you go. When I was taking my pants off, they said you can undress from the waist down. And I started taking my pants off, me and goes, do you want me to step outside? <laughs> and I was like, why would I need you to step outside? And you were like... I just got violated. She just got violated. <laughs> I had to sit on the table and she comes out. Let me show you guys what Do she not. did. No, because they need to know because if y'all are going through this, you need to see this. I'm going to put this in. <laughs> this big. It's not that big. And Mia, Mia did this. Do the face. <laughs> Mia, Mia saw it and she goes, you're going to cut all this out. I know you are. I'm not cutting it this out. This is unacceptable. Okay. We cannot talk about okay. this. <laughs> We did get an ultrasound today and everything looked good. Um, my uterine lining was really thick and it, it was like crazy to see on the screen, wasn't it? <laughs> I've never seen that thing. She's like, that's the uterine lining? She's like, yeah, and these are the ovaries. And she like moved the wand over so she could see the ovary. Me was like, whoa, cool. And I was like, but it was actually kind of cool because she counted 18, 18. Yeah. 18 eggs. So I don't she know how she could see them. They're like microscopic. She did say that she probably wasn't able to count as many as that were actually there because some of them were very tiny. Like that number's probably not obviously official, but 18 eggs is like a really good number to start with. Between 10 to 20 is like what 10 to 20 for. is what they're shooting for. So us having 18 is very promising. And I got my blood work done. They stuck me twice, but that's okay. But my blood work is going to come back later today. If the blood work comes back good, then I will probably be cleared to start the medications today. And what medications are you doing? I'll be taking ovarian stimulation drugs, and I will do those for about eight-ish days. Every two days, I come in to get an ultrasound and more blood work drawn, and they're monitoring the growth of the eggs. They will measure, and once the eggs are measuring to where they like them, they'll give me a trigger shot. So I have a hormone that triggers the release of them. Within 36 hours, those eggs release. I'll go under sedation, and then they will go in to retrieve those eggs. I'm really excited. I know. The fact that the ultrasound was, like, good to go. Yeah, that was good news. That was really Hello, good. I am back. It's just about 5 p.m. Sorry, my dog has a ball. <laughs> I just got all of my IVF meds, so I wanted to share with you kind of like what the package looked like. It came to me in a big refrigerated box. Some of the medications do need to be refrigerated. This was the box. Inside, it came with this cardboard padding um, here and then bubble wrap and of course the ice, like the ice packs. I just opened the package. And so I got a ton of information about like how to ad administer because this medication is like syringes. I will have to give myself shots. Progesterone oil injections. It's like I need to read up on all this stuff just to double, triple check everything is refrigerated right now, but also that I know how to do everything. Patient education. <gasps> I have literature. It teaches me how to drop the medicine. Oh, it kind of goes in kind of deep. <laughs> Stomach, thighs, or bicep. So yeah, let me pull my goodies out for you so you can see everything. IVF med haul. I don't know why, but thinking about all these medicines is like making me feel queasy. Like I, like I'm feeling 
like I have a heartburn. I think it's just because like, it's kind of overwhelming to think about all the medicines I'm gonna be taking the next two weeks. It just seems like a, like a big toll, but it's gonna be worth it. Cause I am still really excited and I'm very grateful and I'm very um, lucky and I'm not gonna deny my privilege in this. Like I am very privileged to be able to afford and do this. In addition, I am taking prenatals. I am taking the one a day prenatal advance with the brain support. I don't know. I was overwhelmed when I was looking for prenatal vitamins and I was in that like aisle. And there was another woman there who was on her postnatal and she was like, are you looking for prenatals? Do you want help? And I was like, please help me. She said, do the capsules, don't do the gummies. I take the one a day prenatals and then it comes with a baby bottle to do um, choline tablets. And then apparently all pregnant people take a baby dose of aspirin throughout your pregnancy. It's a low dose, 81 milligram aspirin. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm nervous I'm not gonna do it right. I know Mia and I have it. I know we can do it. I mean, there's so many people that have done this before me, but it's like a big responsibility. And this is literally so much money worth of medication without health insurance. Scared. Wish me luck. Hold the syringe sideways by the barrel. Then pull the needle cap straight off without bending the needle. Bubble in the medicine. Okay, you know what you're doing? No. <laughs> me neither. Oh, I'm scared. It's gonna hurt. Oh, I wasn't supposed to lay it down or anything. And into the fatty tissue beneath it. How dear. You can do it. I don't think I can do it. You can do it, babe. You want me to do it? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I can do it. Every time I'm like, yeah, I got this. I can do it. I like bring it to myself and I'm like, <laughs> I'm literally shaking. <laughs> it's really scary. You can't I'm scared. Just trick yourself into it. Okay. One, two, three, bam. <laughs> no, there's no bam. <laughs> I think I have to have you do it. Okay. Okay, I need you to sit down. <laughs> Just go in slow and be normal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to do it. Okay. Gotta go, guys. <laughs> Good job, babe. Hi. Good job, baby. You did it. <laughs> I know. I know it hurts. You okay? I have to do three more. Mm -hmm. three, three. Yeah. It's okay. I need band-aids. Can I'm... you give me some band-aids? Yeah. The cute yeah. ones. Yeah. That was terrible. I know. I'm sorry. Is that the needle? <laughs> and I wasn't even the one doing it. That was terrible. Well, I had expected it to be really easy because I feel like I've like not scared of needles and I've been able to do stuff like that before, but that was really hard. Surprisingly, the IVF medications weren't bad. It was the Lovenox that was bad? The Lovenox was the worst part and it was the first one I did. So I think it psyched me out for the other two. If I had started with the IVF meds, I would have been like, oh, okay, and then I would have just been surprised with how bad the Lovenox was. Most women are not going to have to take the Lovenox. It's just me that is having to take the Lovenox. I kind of feel the medicine already kicking in. Is that crazy or what? You're already cranky? Yeah, I just like, just feel like I need to have like a back rub or something. Goodbye. Holy crap. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Day one, hard, but not so bad. I'm really excited. 